Google has now updated its popular Chromecast device, and it now offers a full user interface along with a remote. It's really meant for only streaming media, but you can add a USB hub to increase its capabilities. So in this video, I'm going to talk about four upgrades you can do when you attach a USB-C hub to your Chromecast with Google TV. Let's see what's possible. So with a USB hub, you can perform some functionality upgrades to your Chromecast. But before you use a hub, there are some things you should know. Make sure you use a hub that has power delivery, or else there will be no way to power the Chromecast. Also, you should be aware of what works will depend on the hub that you use. I did all my testing using this hub I use for my laptop, but there is a Reddit page where users list what hubs work for them. I'll provide a link in the description. Another thing to know is that you will need a higher wattage power supply to power the hub and Chromecast. When using the 7.5 watt power supply included with the Chromecast, I would get a power error when booting it. I had to use my laptop's 45 watt power supply to get the Chromecast to boot with the hub. The same link I talked about with working hubs also has users mentioning which USB-C power supplies they used. The first upgrade I want to mention is the ability to use SD cards, flash drives, or hard drives to increase the Chromecast storage. On its own, the Chromecast with Google TV only has 4GB of storage, so if you plan on installing a lot of apps and games, then you will need extra space. Unfortunately, the Chromecast only supports storage media formatted in FAT32, and that comes with some limitations, but will still give you breathing rooms for more apps. The second functionality upgrade is if you want to use your TV to make and take internet video calls. If you do, then you can connect a UVC webcam to the hub and install Google Duo. Duo will automatically detect the webcam and you can then start making and taking Duo calls. Having a webcam attached to your TV will make it easier for multiple people in the same room to participate in video calls. If you also have a UVC HDMI capture card, you can even use a DSLR for your Duo calls. I will provide a link in the video description for a list of UVC webcams. If your device is not listed, you can always plug in and try the camera you have or contact the manufacturer of a camera you're interested in. A third upgrade you can add to your Chromecast is using USB input devices. If you don't have a Bluetooth mouse or keyboard to use with your Chromecast, you can use the hub to plug in wired mice and keyboards. This will let you type much easier and more conveniently browse the web. But preferably, you should avoid wired mice and keyboards and instead obtain a portable Bluetooth mouse slash keyboard combo so you can comfortably sit back and do some browsing on your TV. For games, if you don't have a Bluetooth gamepad, you can always grab a wired gamepad you may have lying around and plug it into the hub to get your game on. And a fourth way to upgrade your Chromecast with a USB hub is to add Ethernet. The Chromecast by itself only supports wireless internet connections. To upgrade to a wired connection, you can use a hub with built-in Ethernet or connect a USB Ethernet adapter to the hub. Ethernet will provide faster speeds and more reliable connections for streaming high-quality video and cloud gaming. Not all Ethernet adapters and hubs will work, but the link I talked about earlier has users confirming hubs with Ethernet that work for them. So those are four ways of upgrading your Chromecast by using a USB-C hub. You do need a more powerful power supply to support this, but if you're interested in any of these four upgrades I talked about, it is a must. Anyway, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a like. And if you want to see more content like this, subscribe to my channel. Thank you, and I'll speak to you next time.